Hey guys, Tutorial Tuesday. So today we're gonna to be talking about removing things, removing objects from your photo really quick. We've all done it. We've took these great photos or shots with your drone and then you see something on that and it just distracts you. Maybe it's somebody in the background, you don't want it to be there. Maybe it's an object, it doesn't look right. And you know, I use Photoshop as my main photo manipulation software. I use Lightroom for photo editing, but they, they, although they are great, they are one, expensive, and two, take a bit more time to actually do the actual task that you want to do. So a quick way of doing it, say you just want to post something quickly onto Instagram, but you took look at this picture and there's something which is just distracting you. It could be someone behind you, you know, and you don't want them there. So a quick way of removing them is to use software, which you can use on your phone or an iPad. It's available on iOS and Android. I'm not sponsored in any way by this, but I've tested so many and this is probably the best one and it's really cheap. Let me show you how it works. Okay, so for this, I'm gonna be using a software called Touch Retouch. And this is about £1.99 and it's so easy to use. So let's just get straight into it. So by clicking on the button in the bottom right hand corner, we can click Blemish Remover. And then this photo here, for an example, if there's any spots or any blemishes, they can be removed really easily. So you see this little black dot on her jacket here that looks like a bit of soil or something. We can just tap on that and that gets removed instantly. So for this photo example, we just wanna tidy everything up. So I'm just gonna go over any little speckles on here which is standing out, which I don't want. Just tap on them and they get removed really easily. So it's super simple to do and that's how you could also use it. If you want a brand deal and you need to remove something which is branded, then this logo here, we can just click object removal, click go and that's gone and you won't be able to tell that I was there at all. This one now, so this one here, you can see a few objects on here. So if I wanted to actually just tidy everything up, so I want to remove this and some twigs, by clicking in the bottom left hand corner on object removal and I'm just going to go around all these objects and then just basically paint over them and then once I've done that click go and they're all removed it's super simple and it does a really good job so for like on the go editing there isn't anything I've found to be this quick but also the way the system works the software is so good it does a fantastic job majority of the time I'm just gonna look now, if you look where she's sat, you can see the Wellingtons here. So I wanted to show you a little bit more complex about what you can do using the clone stamp as well. So I'm just gonna use this object selection and remove this Wellington here. Make sure you zoom all the way in and then try and get every little part. So you can see this bit of the Wellington I've missed. So once that's done there and then click go, when it's actually really fine objects like this, it doesn't remove everything all the time. This is when you need to use the clone stamp. So in the simplest term, the clone stamp just pastes pixels from one area of the photo onto the actual area you want to hide. So I'm just gonna click on this water here and I'm basically pasting this water over that Wellington. So I'm using different parts of this water so it's not too obvious. And then just keep doing that and then you can also use the wood as well. And then once you zoomed out, nobody will be able to tell that that is actually actually been clone stamped. You can use this to remove text as well, like on this amazing car, which I really want, but I can remove that. If I wanted to, I could remove the actual GT500 as well. It's so fast, it's done in seconds. You know, this is so easy. So this is a drone photo here that I took on the DJI Mini 2. And I just wanna remove some of these people out of the photo as well. So this guy here taking a picture of Mary Shell. You're gonna go now, so I'm just gonna paint over you, click on go, and away you go there. Let's see what else we can find. So around this picture, there's a woman here, looks like having a selfie. She's gone, maybe that guy was taking a picture of her. So these people here now, this is quite complex because it's a car in the way, but we're just gonna see how this fares. I'm doing a really rough job here. So if you want to tidy that up, that's where the clone stamp and just actually stamp around that will be better. The bin, let's remove that bin. Again, drawing over that and away you go. Now once you zoomed out, you know, it's very hard, on, you know, unless you've actually just done this yourself to actually notice this. This boy here running into the park, see you later. You've now gone as well. And I'm just gonna keep doing this and removing loads of different objects, using that clone stamp to tidy areas up if I need to. And then just, it's so simple to do. This lovely couple here sat on this bench. They're gone, I don't want them on the photo. I'm just gonna tidy these little marks up. There's a bin, I think bins don't look good on this picture, so they're gone as well. So you can see what I mean. This can be done in you know seconds or minutes, and you can actually manipulate your photo to look how you want it. So if there's something you don't want on that photo, 
you can remove it and that's the before and that's the after and that's just how simple this is as i said i am not sponsored in any way by this software but it is so good and for on the go editing i use this a lot and it's really good and handy to be able to get rid of things once you've done that you can click save as copy or you can modify your original one you want to go into settings and increase that jpeg quality to the highest that will ensure so this picture here you can see i've got a war wound from my dji mini 2 i can just go over that cut and away it goes and then again just the blemish of the blood there that's gone and then i can post that if i wish so ios android ipad whatever you want to use this on this is available it's a great piece of software if you're into taking photos and you want to remove things but it's a bit too complicated on photoshop this is a great way take care guys see you next tuesday for another tutorial tuesday